Hello, my name is Christine Elder, and today we're going to do a little sketching tutorial on a leaf. I'm going to draw this simple aspen leaf right here. Um, I love drawing leaves in spring because there's so many different shapes and colors and sizes, and they're so clean and beautiful. Fall is another time to draw leaves when they turn all of the beautiful autumn colors. So anyway, today we're going to begin our sketching adventure together by starting with a simple leaf. I'm going to share with you my technique. It's just one of many, but uh, here's my technique and you can try it if you'd like to. I'll also have a downloadable uh, cheat sheet for you to follow along with this uh, video, but I suggest you watch the video first and um, then you can follow along later on. So first you want to find an interesting leaf to draw and you want to set it on the paper right next to where you're going to draw it. We're going to draw it about the same size, the same size and shape. Um, that's the easiest way to start. If you want to challenge yourself later, you can draw leaves uh, larger or smaller than they are. Um, the different steps I'm going to go through today will be with this leaf, drawing this leaf, but just to know that you can use these same steps for whatever you draw, whether it's uh, a person or a, your bird or a wildflower, whatever it is, same steps. Okay, so here we are. We're going to first um, draw a line that represents um, the, the um, shape of the, the, the the vein here, the, the length of the vein. And um, to attempt to draw it the same size, I will use my pencil here. And uh, so it's going to be about there. And about here. Okay, so that's about close. Okay. And then a line that represents the stem or petiole. And um, that goes down and then over a little bit. And again, we will measure that, about that long. Okay, that's the way, get that. And to get that angle of that stem or petiole, uh, I could put my pencil here and notice that angle is about 30 degrees. <laughs> There's a fly that's flying around here inconveniently, okay. So uh, I got that pretty, pretty close here, 30 degrees, that's good. Okay. And we're working as lightly as we possibly can on this paper. Um, you'll notice that any, any art tool you use, you can uh, work it with a variety of um, darknesses. So in this case, um, I could use this pencil very lightly like this. You might not even be able to see that, but it's a very light line. Or I could go a little darker, or a little darker, or a little darker. And we're going to use all of those, what we call values, in this drawing. So we just want to start as lightly as possible, as if we're, we're tickling the paper. That's what I like to think of it as, tickling the paper um, with our pencil. Okay, so now we have the um, the height of the leaf and the, the length of the petiole, um, we can look at the width of the leaf. How would we get that? Well, we could put our pencil here um, from the central vein to the edge and measure that. There we go. And make a mark there. And we could do the same thing over here from the vein to the edge. Oops. And Mark that right there. Okay, so now we're going to uh, lightly sketch the edge of the leaf. And um, some leaves are uh, very long and skinny. Uh, some are almost round, like this quaking aspen. Uh, some have deep lobes, like a, uh, a maple leaf. But this is a nice, uh, pretty easy oval. So we're just going to go um, from here and the top here. We've got a little point there, so I'm going to leave that. Um, and make a, a, a light oval. 
Again, you're just drawing the very lightest you can. Okay. So this is just our foundation to start with. Uh, I like to use that analogy of, of building a house because um, my father built houses when I was a kid and I would get to watch. Uh, and he would pour the cement foundation first before building up the three-dimensional shape of the house. And so that's what we're doing with these very, very light lines, is we're, we're building the foundation of our drawing um, before we build the house. So the foundation is uh, just getting the, the height and the width and the angles, basically, um, before we commit to any one exact line, okay? So now what I'll do is I'll try to get this shape a little bit more realistic. And the way I'll do that is um, today I can start down here at the, the bottom of the leaf and I'll go around the leaf in a clockwise motion. And I'll go very, very slowly as if I was following maybe a little ant marching along the edge of the leaf and that my pencil was falling, falling along at that speed. And um, so just going to do that very slowly and we'll include some of these uh, little uh, what would you call um, sculpted edges um, but we're not going to worry too much about getting them getting them perfect um, some some shapes of things you have to be more careful with than others and it just takes practice and some knowledge about your your um, object you're drawing to know so for example, if you were gonna, if you were gonna draw a cat, if you were gonna make this circle into a, a kitty cat, you'd want exactly two ears and two eyes and one nose. Uh, but if you're drawing a, a leaf and looking at the number of veins or the sculpturing on the edges, um, you can be a little bit freer with, with that interpretation and not, not, be, uh, not beat yourself up about looking at it exactly. So anyway, let's start that. We're going to just start along the edge and I'm just going to go really slowly. I might even kind of go back and forth a little bit. And again, staying really light because we can add more to this, to this later. Pointy stem here. Okay. And um, so I might notice that here, say it's it's too it's too wide, and I might just lightly erase that but we want to we want to avoid erasing I like to try to avoid erasing in the early stages um, because really erasing is sort of like criticism and we don't want to criticize too much what we've done we just um, in fact it's it's sometimes helpful to have an incorrect line and leave it there so that we can place the correct line later okay so um, so I might again go around this and um, just kind of just kind of ground truth here. Okay. And then I could look at the stem here. I want to give the stem a little bit of width. Right now it's just one line. And we know a stem has a top and a bottom, so we're just going to give it that. And it gets a little wider here at the edge, you might notice. There we go. I'm not sure if I mentioned before, though, that when you first start a drawing, uh, it's best to just observe your, your object, even touching it and feeling the, the, the shapes and the, the texture. Just really observing it a bit to get to know it. It's its, it's height and its width, its angles, 
um, and that will that will help you uh, draw a better drawing. Okay. And here I could even I could even cheat and set this on top here and see if I'm pretty close. And it looks like I'm pretty close. But uh, I was a little bit skinny, wasn't I here? So I can actually still at this point um, get it a bit closer. See, I had it a little bit scrunched down. Okay, so all right, let's just work on this a bit more now. start to draw a little darker as I get more confident. Alright, so I've got the shape pretty good there. Now I'll add these, uh, these inner veins here. The central vein is, um, is bigger than the other ones. And I'll note that the other ones branch off from it. And again, I'll go very slowly and very lightly and pretend that an ant is just crawling along there in order for me to, to, to try to get it as accurate as possible. And this one, and this one, and this one, this one. It's so cool to notice that the veins they branch and branch and branch, and the branches get finer and finer. They serve the same purpose and are the same uh, basic shape as as our our veins and our our arteries, going to smaller and smaller areas of the leaf until um, the, the 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 veins of the leaf have been able to bring nutrients, both the water and the carbohydrates, to every single cell in that leaf. Anyway, a person could get a little bit crazy with this. You could spend all day, if you wanted to, getting every single little vein, but we're not just, we're not going to do that. We're going to just give it just enough to, to give it some personality. Speaking of personality, um, just notice that every every leaf is different, um, just like snowflakes. Every every snowflake is different, and um, so you want to show the good and the bad. Like if this was a leaf in the autumn that was um, maybe bitten by a had been eaten by some caterpillars or chewed on by a, a deer, it wouldn't look quite so so beautiful and, and perfect as this. Um, but including that, those imperfections gives you, gives it more personality. So it's good to try to, try to show that. And this fall, I'll do some tutorials on sketching those leaves. Very beautiful in the fall. Okay. Well, I think we're just about, about done here. 
this is the this is kind of where I might stop with my sketch if say I was uh, if I had my field sketchbook with me and I was taking a hike along the river like I, I often do and I just wanted to stop for a rest and get out my notebook and and pick an aspen leaf from a nearby um, tree and just sit down on a rock next to the river and, and sketch it. Um, if I had more time or inclination, perhaps I would I would come home and and later on I might add some some shadowing to to give the uh, emphasis of of the green, or I would add the drop shadow, or I would add some colored pencils or watercolor to to show the green and and the the yellow stem and and or the yellow veins and the brown stem. But uh, I think we'll stop here for now. It's just a a good place to, to stop for a, for a general tutorial on, um, on basic sketching techniques. So to recap, when you're going to sketch something, put it right next to you. Draw it the same size and shape as it is. Start by just observing it for a few moments. Then um, mark its uh, height and its width and um, the length of any other op areas and mark those uh, in the drawing you'll make. Then look at the overall shapes, whether we have lines or circles. Um, you'll, you'll lightly add those. Uh, and then you'll uh, very slowly uh, go around the edge uh, as if that you were a, a marching ant and you are following that marching ant with your pencil very slowly. Because you really want to be observing uh, or drawing what you're observing in front of you. It's very easy to start looking at just your drawing and, and not ever look back. And at that point you're drawing from imagination or memory uh, or your, your symbolic idea of what something would look like and you're not observing what is actually in front of you. Um, and, and that is our goal here um, today, is to, to learn about what's in front of us and observe it and um, enjoy, enjoy the process. So that's about it for this uh, tutorial um, for drawing a simple leaf. Thank you so much. Um, look on this page for a download. Um, to the, um, the tutorial that you can print out and, um, and, and follow along. Okay, thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day.